This channel's real, this channel's about documenting, this channel's about talking, having an open opinion. And let's get started. Say bro, say bro. Say bro, say bro. Head of a horse, the body of a man. Unidentified flying object. Welcome back to another video. Merry Christmas! What's up guys, it's me, Donato Bay, and let's get into a quick video. Now we're starting with Roger, love you Roger, from Mud Fossil University. You remember the story, something about it rained meatballs or something about raining meatballs? Right now, I can't think of it. Well, to me, everything comes from something. And I don't believe that people, honestly, or humans, or whatever you want to call us, could be that creative to think of meatballs falling from the sky. Hence why back in 1876, live meat did fall from space. Let's check out this short article. This is about the Kentucky meat shower. And there's also a short story on it that you can find on YouTube. Just type it in. It's easy to find. I'm going to do a little clip right here from Roger. I really ask that you look at this whole video, look at his whole channel, because rocks aren't rocks in caves or something else. Could you imagine what we went inside of? Willingly. And this is from the American Society for Microbiology, and they're talking about microbes might aid the search for extraterrestrial life. Now, the problem is, is what's space is extremely inhospitable habitat, which begs the question, could microbes, microbes even survive there? Well, let's see if we can answer that question. Okay, my friends, get ready. Shocker du jour. There are a ton of little meteorites around. This one here, I'm going to tell you right now, is a heart. The ones that have all the little dimples on them are lungs. Like that. So if you're understanding who Roger is, and if you don't, I'm going to try to give a good cliff note. Roger has basically proven, and it's a fact, that rocks and our caves are giants. The leftover bodies of giants, giant animals, and creatures, okay? When we go in the caves, we could be walking into the back of somebody, the other side of somebody, or the top of somebody. Use your imagination. Certain rocks are bleeding or have been caught bleeding throughout time because it's phosphorized kidneys and, and lungs and hearts. So my answer that I'm giving is yes, meat did fall back in 1876. Where it came from, I have no idea. 
but it also makes sense that if somebody or some things or certain things were sent up into space, allegedly, and they castellized and doa they fall from space into our atmosphere and they get castellized. They form into what we call rocks. That's just a quick theory of mine. I do believe that meat fell from space. There's a lot of things up in space that people don't even realize. It's really, we ain't gonna go there. I believe space is the ocean, but we're not even gonna go there. The point is, I believe meat fell from space. There's a lot of things up there in space. They even have snakes, sky serpents. There's snakes and stuff flying up in space. Not our type of snakes, space snakes. That's all I'm saying. Y'all gotta do your research. I know it may sound funny. But yes, meat did fall from the sky. I don't care what theories they gave to this day. Meat fell from the sky just like every cave out there is a giant or a giant being or a giant animal. That would be a long, that would be a long. I have two lungs here that are both little, very small meteorites. As a matter of fact, they're right here. You see the little magnets on them? No. This one is very, very weakly magnetic, but it's, it's a iron and that is as well it's a little more magnetic because it's a little bigger now they smelt coming through the atmosphere and they they come with these patterns you see all these little cavities in them that's because they were lungs most of them because that's where your blood is now this is the exception this one here is a heart that one there is a heart there's no little cavities all over it like these little dimples Okay, that indicates it was a lung. You see, that, that was a lung. Now, uh, these two are lungs both as well. They didn't smelt as much as the bigger lungs because they're just tiny. But I, as I'll show you in the microscope. So basically, these two little guys that are meteorites that fell a long time ago from the sky were lungs. Pieces of lungs or a little lung. We have little beings too. We're actually not the biggest people in this universe. Well, whatever we are. You know, there are things bigger than us. Look at Peru. Those were giants out there messing with those people recently. Come on, somebody. There's no missing it. And I can prove to you that they are both lungs because they have this attachment right there, that little latch that is on all the lungs. And that, like this is where the air, air went into this one. And that's... This is not a, a meteorite. This is a chondritic lung. And I do want to correct this. I may have said that all meteorites are whatever. And if I didn't say it, that's not what it is. Some rocks are from space. Oh, I don't even know if they're rocks. Whatever. We'll just go with meteorites. We'll just say that. But from what he's finding and from what I'm understanding throughout learning his channel, a lot of these are flesh, muscles, Tendons, bones, hearts, butt cheeks, you know what I'm saying? Lungs, probably already said that. Stomach linings, you know, I'm just saying. Imagine a windy, windy, windy little part in a cave. All the little caverns and stuff. We're walking through vessels and blood vessels. We're walking in and out of heart veins and where things used to be inside of something that lived. That's all I'm saying, y'all. Please check out his channel. I'm gonna stop this right here. I just wanna bring y'all this little piece of little clip. I'll have it up to where you can find it. Let's roll. All right, well, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys are kinda getting the idea of what I'm trying to say and how I'm trying to quickly put this together. Meat did fall from the sky, just how they got the idea of it's raining meatballs. I really think that that was the, the book, but I hope you guys just do some research. Please study, Roger. Please. And like I always say, guys, do not obey. Stay woke. Peace.